Right. Hello, everyone. So this is the opening ceremony for PulpCon 2020. And we have some sort of agenda for the opening ceremony. And the plan was to uh, meet and greet new faces. I'm looking at the call of attendees, and I think we have everyone we know. We know each other. So I guess we'll just skip this. Uh, Ina, um, briefly, we might want to just run through the rounds because we're recording this. And people from outside, you know, who haven't been to one of these might wa be watching it later and might not know everybody's face, even folk that we talk to in IRC all the time. So I would suggest we just go around and do uh, two sentences each, even though we all, you know, know 95% of the people here. Okay, good point. Will you start, Grant? Oh, great. Put me on the spot. Okay. Um, hello, my name is Grant Ganey. Um, I work at Red Hat. I've been at Red Hat for 14 years. I started on satellite. I was in IT for a while. Then I was back on satellite and vulnerability and cloud acts, cloudredhat.com. And I've been on the pulp team for about a year. And I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to pass it off to Pavel. Okay. Hi, I'm Pavel. Um, so I started as you. I started uh, as QA for the Red Hat for some years and moved here as the developer. So now I'm I'm trying to fight with, fight with RPM packages and it's starting. So anyone can continue. <laughs> I'm Dennis. I'm D. Kleben on IRC. I've been working on Pulp uh, for the last like seven years, and um, I love it. And I try to work on uh, every little bit. I feel like. And uh, I, how about you, Brian? I also try to work on every little bit. Um, <laughs> my name is Brian Bathurst. I've been with Red Hat for about six years and uh, i've been with pulp the whole time it's been a wonderful experience and um uh i'm really excited about everything that we've been doing together and i'm sure things we'll keep doing together so how about we pass it to daniel have you gone daniel i have not gone um i'm daniel i've been with the red hat for a little bit less than four years uh and all of that on the pulp team and uh, me and Brian and uh, Dennis actually all worked at the same place before uh, before Red Hat, funnily enough. Um, Matthias. Hi, I'm Matthias here. I'm working for Pulp now for almost six months. So probably the youngest member here. And I'm hacking on core and container stuff mostly and installer. Um, how about David? Cool. My name is uh, David Davis in real life and on IRC. Um, I've been at Red Hat for eight years, uh, four or five years on Catello and the rest on Pulp. Um, I work on various parts of Pulp, but mostly the core stuff and a little bit on RPM and stuff. Uh, what about Fabrizio? So I'm Fabrizio. I'm from Red Hat Brazil. I work at the Pulp team for one year. And like Dennis and Brian, I'm kind of everywhere at Pulp, but Pulp 3. I haven't worked with Pulp 2 yet, and I believe I will not. And this is my second poop can. And how about you, Mike? Hi, I'm Mike DiPaolo. I, 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 I'm Mike Tech 333 on IRC. I'm a service reliability engineer. Uh, I've only been at Red Hat since last year. Before that, I was a sysadmin and system engineer for about a decade. Um, you know, finally, mostly working on the installer uh, as well as the containers and. and and Kubernetes operator and the CI. Um, Melanie? 
Thanks, Mike. Uh, so I'm Melanie Core, based in Ireland. I've been working, um, I'm not on the pub team, I am working in uh, the, helping out with the pub community. Uh, so I'm looking at improving the community experience in general. Um, I've been with Red Hat three years and I'm just working with this group for the last six months. So rivaling Matthias for youngest. Um, Ina, have you, you haven't gone yet, have you? Or did you? No, you didn't. You just said we all know each other already and we don't need to. Yeah, that's no, your goal. Um, yeah, my name is Ina Panova and I've been with Red Hat for, for seven and a half years. And I know Pulp probably for the same amount of time. Um, I, I work on different plugins, uh, RPM, container plugin, migration plugin, uh, a bit of everywhere. Um, who hasn't gone? Uh, I see a new phase joined. I'll just uh, give a background what we're doing. We are introducing each other and telling the background and our experience with Pulp. And Marcus, uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Or you'll just listen in. Let's see if you can hear and see me. Yes. We can. Yes. Ah, great. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm with Atix. So um, we're working on Foreman and Catello and therefore also on Pulp. And currently we're working on um, Pulp Debian for Pulp 3. Well, querying that is. And yeah, my responsibility will be to get a Pulp Deb for Pulp 3 into Catello. Which is great, thank you. Um, Robin, what about you? Sure, I'll go next. Uh, my name is Robin Chan, um, R. Chan on IRC. Um, I am the pointy-haired manager of the Pulp uh, Red Hatters here. Um, and I am uh, based out of Cary, North Carolina, so East Coast time zone. Um, and um, I love Baby Yoda, fun fact about me. Um, so next, uh, Kieran, why don't you go ahead? Because I think Marcus mentioned you. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? You're muted. All right, well, he's getting his technical difficulties worked out. Um, Maximilian, you gone? Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm also with Atix. Uh, yeah, n not much to say. I guess I'll just uh, listen what you guys uh, have to have to tell. Welcome. Well, uh, what what parts uh, of uh, Pulp or Catello have you worked with or on? Um, I contributed a very, very minor uh, documentation bits and pieces uh, together with Quirin on the Pulp Dep plugin. Cool. And did Tanya go? Hey, guys. Um, I'm Tanya Zidishinka. I'm based in Brno, Czech Republic. I've been with Red Hat just almost five years. Uh, now, in all the time with the Pulp team, I'm TT Tab on IRC <laughs> because my nickname is very complicated, just TT Tab should work. Uh, and uh, yeah, I try to participate in different parts of Pulp. Currently, I'm mostly focused on RPM and migration plugin. Uh, I think we will. We went through everyone. So I guess, Ina, back to you. Oh, Kieran, you can try. Well, right now you're muted on um, the software here. Maybe. OK, cool. Uh, 
Um, sounds good. So uh, we'll come back to Kirin a bit later. Um, I was uh, thinking what about we would uh, share what are the topics and discussions we're looking forward to and how it will help to achieve our goals. I know that everyone on this call has their own goals. Uh, is there anyone who would like to answer those questions? So I'll take a stab at it while we're waiting for uh, Karen to get in. Um, I'm really looking forward to the lockless pulp talk and the multi-tenancy talks, because I think those are gonna be really important for um, important changes to think about to get pulp to, a, to the larger scale that we'd like to hit soon. So those are probably the two talks I'm looking forward to the most. Um, it would be great to hear um, some use cases from community if we get any and um, to know their current challenges. Yeah, and I'm running that meeting, so I hope people show up and, and are very excited to tell us what to do. I'll take good notes, I promise. I'm very much looking forward to the uh, to the UI talk. As somebody who was using Pulp as part of Catalo Slash Satellite at a previous job, that's something that we valued as we were having technicians do monthly uh, patching. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the talk that uh, I'll be leading. Uh, it's the major release branching and how uh, what processes we need to have in place to start working on the next major release of Pulp. Uh, I feel like it took so long for us to get, uh, you know, Pulp 3 out the door and just even get started with it. Um, and I don't want that to happen again. Pulp 4 is the go rewrite, right? Well, and that's exactly what I want to avoid is I don't want it to be a major rewrite. I want it to just be an incremental change that's uh, you know not uh, backwards compatible in some way, but not necessarily a major difference. Yep. So that's I'm a looking yes forward. <laughs> Go ahead, Nina. Uh, I just want to say that I'm looking forward for the community talk from uh, Melanie and JDK. I'm very excited. I think we have uh, dedicated people who take care of uh, pop community and related topics. And I'm also looking forward to hear about the community plugin state, like a Debian plugin. I should probably share a moment on the agenda about the uh, Melanie GDK talk. Um, GDK had a conflict and is unable to be joining us, unfortunately, which is sad because I always like to um, hear him talk. And for those who have not yet heard him talk, um, it's uh, it's an experience. So um, in his stead, uh, Melanie and I will be, um, we've prepared an agenda for some prompts and discussion points similar and along the lines with what we've heard from GDK in the past about um, uh, to try to bring in some of his perspective on how to grow the pulp community. Did Kieran join under well, a new identity? <laughs> Maybe it's frozen. Um, okay, thank you for sharing everyone the uh, goals and the things we're looking forward to. Um, I see there are new faces who have joined. Uh, feel free to introduce yourself uh, if you would like to.
Um, as a side note, we will have uh, lightning talks. Uh, so please uh, sign up if you have things to share and talk about. Okay, I'm going to try to talk one more time. Yes. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I don't know if I'm interrupting now, if I, I say a few words now. <laughs> so my name is Quirin and I'm Cuba42 on IRC and I work for ATIX and in that capacity, I've been working on the Pub Debian plugin. Uh, I have a slot for a talk on that tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, I guess that's enough for now. Thank you. Okay, great. Um, I guess that's pretty much it from the opening ceremony. Uh, do we want to add more things? It's the first opening virtual ceremony, so. Do we want to, I, one of the things I was wondering, Ina, if um, at the opening ceremony, is there anything we sh can do to make it easier for, you know, the, fo uh, the folk that don't have meetings like this every day? Because I know a lot of us that work on the Pulp team, this is just our normal operating procedure. We're in a meeting just like this probably 40% of our time. Is there anything we can do to make it easier for those of you that uh, haven't been in meetings with us all the time since March? It takes silence as acceptance. Okay, great. Um, what are our next steps? Our next slot is in half an hour about luckless pulp. Um, one thing that's been on my mind, uh, about kind of the format is, I just want to say I'm really excited about the format. Um, of course, getting together in person, there's really no substitute for it, but I do think this may be the most inclusive pulp uh, con yet. And um, the commute wasn't bad, at least for me. Um, I think that it's very organized and I really like to see so many different people have prepared their sessions and so, um, and I believe there are also a, f a few spots still um, set in the agenda, maybe one or two perhaps, if I'm, if I'm remembering this right. And so that um, can allow for as topics to come up and if there's some sort of thing that you really feel like we should talk about and would be valuable with um, so many different folks to be able to give feedback and input, then um, that's what those slots are for. So, you know, feel free to um, claim or propose one of those times, if you'd like. And um, just a general format thing, I'm pretty sure we're going to be limiting all meetings to end at the top at the 50th of the hour. Um, so there will be a 10 minute break between each meeting. And then video conference and tech wise, uh, this conference bridge should be hosting all of the meetings. Um, and uh, there is a watch URL that people can use to stream the meeting without having joined it um, as well. So I'm not sure if sharing that out on places like Twitter or otherwise would make any sense or not. Um, so I'm really excited uh, to be doing this together. Uh, I was going to say, so I can't, I think, uh, join the live stream because it's limited to a certain organization on Google Hangouts. So right um, now, the, the joining the actual meeting is more inclusive than the live stream. Not sure if that's intentional or... That is not intentional. Thank you so much for that information. Yeah, we're going to... We are definitely making some of this up as we go along. Um, that's distressing. Ryan, I'm not sure we can fix that, but it's something we can look into. I'm not sure we can make that happen, make it accessible outside of uh, the, the Red Hat logins, the live stream, but... Shucks. Well, thank you just the same for that information. I'll give it a little bit of thought. And I was hoping we get some Twitch streamer to have his entire uh, population decide to crash our stream, but I guess that's not going to happen.
Okay, guys. Side. So I'm going to wrap up this opening ceremony if we don't have anything else to say or to add. Okay. Who is pressing the button, David or Brian? I can do it. Thank you.